Hey, welcome back. What's up? This is Cheshire. Welcome in. Um, so I was going to do drafting bad, but I don't want to do MM17 at the moment. Um, and I think we've all seen enough of the latest sets. So instead, I decided to go in with the standard gauntlet. Uh, which is, I, I should have updated the description, I know, but, uh, whatever. This is an odd one. So, as you might be able to see, I've got the blue control deck that I never played back in the day. No, I just had no interest. I was too busy playing combo and stuff like that to play this particular deck. Um, so now we get to familiarize ourselves with... Trade Wind Rider. Oh, goodness. Okay, sure. And Mana Wars. Impulses, everyone remembers. Uh, Counter Spells, Forbids, Ophidians to draw cards. This is just uh, a pretty insane control deck. So let's, let's just go straight in. Why not? Oh, I do have chat open, obviously. Because no second screen at the moment, which we'll figure out at some point. Um, Duba, nice to see you. Thank you for the host. I've got my coffee. I will try not to make slurping noises because I know how much that annoys the crap out of me. This is a, uh, a point I brought up on Twitter today, uh, which is listening to a podcast and I can hear somebody's nom 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 nomming. They're eating while they're podcasting. They're eating mouth noises straight into the mic and just please don't just don't so this is the standard gauntlet which is a throwback to a whole bunch of like really powerful standard decks throughout the ages uh, i think this one is mirage block not block uh mirage standard mirage visions it might be a mix of a couple actually thinking about it um, but yeah, the Tempest and stuff in it as well. There were some really great decks back in that era, uh, and I wish that we were still there in a lot of ways. We'll see how this later set goes, because um, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, the current spoilers that have been coming out, green looks really, really solid. Um, blue got some interesting new toys, uh, but I think that we'll be probably seeing if not a mono green creature deck, definitely a green something, um, again. And it's going to be kind of crazy. We finally got some graveyard removal, but, yeah. This is taking a long time. Because apparently it takes a long time to say anything in old Entish, right? I, I know, that's terrible. I don't care. Well, that's going on. Considering we are still waiting. Um, the worst part about bubble switch is it won't tell you uh, how many people are actually uh, in watching, which is frustrating. Uh, yeah, we want to play first, absolutely. Do we want to keep this? Uh, yes. Yes, we do. Great island. Um, for those wondering what this deck actually is, because I didn't introduce it, uh, this one is the Draw Go deck, and it quite literally does Draw Go. That's it. It's draw, go, can your stuff that looks like our opponent might be on the same. So that's not going to be helpful for anyone. Um, the idea, yep, stocking stones. The, this, he might be playing the Afrit deck. Uh, but the idea behind this particular deck um, was basically not playing anything on your turn unless you really had to. Um, but the same was with the Afrit deck, which was very much the same. Uh, we probably should have Impulse there, actually, at the end of our opponent's turn. Mm. But that's fine. 
Alright. See what our opponent has up their sleeve. Impulse. Yeah, of course. You can impulse. It's fine. I miss mine. Now, it's not a factor of um, these decks being very bad. It depends on how you want to look at it. It didn't promote fun play, and that was apparently the problem that a lot of people had. Um, impulse? Should check the chat and get back up. So our opponent looks like they're going to Mana Leak the Impulse? Sure. Okay. Hmm. Do they play any one, like, a four spike? Don't think so. But I don't know. I think that they do play some bounce. Don't think they played anything we care that much about. Do we want to start pecking? Yeah, let's see what happens. Again, I don't like this particular style of deck because it's not my style of deck. It's too slow. Uh, it's a lot of Nevin Rolls disc. Uh, it's a lot of sitting around and just being like, Am I doing anything yet? No. <laughs> um. And it's not a bad thing, but it's not my style of deck, that's for sure. We're going to get in for one here. Got a Nevin Rails disc. Nevin Rails disc was one of the first rares I think I ever opened, actually, uh, which is hilarious. I got two leads joining it that are ending soon and I don't know what they are. One must be The Last of the Modern Masters and the other one must be uh, Kaladesh maybe? Yeah, you take it. You take my poking for one. Need more land. I don't really want to use the whispers though, um, but I might have to. Does the deck have anything to play at the end of its turn? I don't think so. I oh, will just cast it. Whatever. Let's try and dig a little bit deeper for something else. Not what I was expecting, but we did get an island, so that's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is just the most stale, boring game, and I'm just going to keep pecking my opponent for one over and over and over until they use that Nevin Rails disc. Oops. Shouldn't have auto yield. Alright, what's it going to be? Our opponent play. Whispers. Sure. Um, so our opponent's going to do a Whispers again, but without buyback. We're just going to let that go then. Why would you Whispers without buyback though? Try and make me tap out maybe? Legacy's a lure. Let's see if our opponent lets that. Guess the reason being is because our opponent has Nevin Rolls disc? I guess? Oh, I forgot to attack. Huh. Uh. Yes? Uh, alright. I'm gonna have to play an Ophidian here, I don't have a choice. 
because otherwise I'm going to start discarding cards. Which is interesting that our opponent let it through. Okay. What are you going to do? Another Whispers of the Muse, but with buyback. I don't see any point to countering that. You can draw a card, that's fine. I mean, quite honestly, and less. Now you think you're going to destroy everything? Sure. I was going to say. Any order's fine. I don't care what order they go in there. Our opponent's like, yay, removed the threat from the board. And I'm like, yay, I've got another one to play anyway. I don't care. Please counter it. Kind of target spell, huh? I really just want to, do we just want to, I think I will. Let's make our opponent use another counter spell. Let's see if they've got it. Yep. It's a four spike. Look at that. Yield. <sighs> just. Like it was a really, really great period of time, but when you got these decks against each other and it was just like, ugh. Sapphire Medallion? Yeah, let's go with the Sapphire Medallion. Counter to let it through. Oh, you get a whispers? I feel like I just gonna let that through. You can whispers all you want. Oh, it's gonna make for um, some great YouTubing. Some amazing YouTubing. Watch these two counter spell decks go up each against each other for 50 minutes of sleep. <coughs> Excuse me. Measle explosion. Oh look, we do play mana leaks. Oh man. Let's see, what's our opponent gonna play? Um Is there a reason to that? Oh, stay as a creature. That's a new one. I never knew that. I always thought it was until end of turn for some reason. Uh, Man of War. Once it registers. Thank you. Is it going so slow tonight? So slow. Bounce of Stalking Stones. Uh, and I don't think, as much as I'd really love to, that I want to play anything else right now. Stalking Stones again. Nothing I can do about that one. I think we're in some real trouble. Because I'm just going to let it through, I'm not going to block it. I don't care. Another... Okay, sure. So our opponent now has the four copies of Stalking Stones that they're playing in their entire deck out on the field. Yep. That happened. Another Sapphire Medallion. Apparently we're allowed to have that. Good, I guess. Um, I am going to attack my opponent for two. Because they've got enough to make one of their stalking stones into a creature anyway. Yeah. 
Did you select the wrong one or? Apparently so. Cool. Uh, but our opponent's now going to be beating down on us for so much more. Which is fine because we're going to have a trade win rider out real soon. Especially now that our stuff now costs way less than it did. So hopefully we can now value our opponent. I don't know if that's possible right now, but uh, we're certainly going to try. Okay. Island. Uh, we want to cast a mana which will cost us one blue. I'm going to bounce at Stalking Stone. Opponent's going to let it go through. Great. Uh, trade Wind Rider. It's going to cost us one blue and one colorless. This will force the counter spell. Now that means that we've got one more in the deck. So the question is here, do we counter it? Or do we not bother? I think we're going to leave it. Leave it go, leave it go. Oh, be great for stopping our opponent. Our opponent still has like seven cards in hand, so the odds of them having more counter spells is pretty, pretty easy. Um, don't want to pay the buyback to discard too. All right, let's try counter spelling our opponent's counter spell. Dissipate. Can I target spell? Uh, we have no blue mana left. We're going to let that go. But we pulled two counter spells out of our opponent's hand, so that's going to count for something, I guess. And we have significantly at least slowed the damage down uh, to three damage a turn for at least now, uh, which is about to get so much worse. I could force our opponent to pay three for that impulse, but there's no point. Hmm. I might have to stop attacking my opponent just so that I can try and block with mana wars. Which is really great. It's not, not something you expect to say, but playing control. And my chat just bonked out. Connecting. Um, okay, so drew another mana like. Not what we wanted to see. So we'll play an Ophidian, see if our opponent will stop it. I mean, they've got six cards in hand, so who knows? I'm going to let it go. Uh, I'm not going to attack with my Mana Wars. I'm going to leave them up as blockers and see what my opponent does. more stalking stones than I have for answers. Sure. Uh, so I have to block one of them, so... Those Metal Wars are going to block the first one. So one of my Metal Wars is going to die of itself to stalking stones. Where are all my answers? Sure, this deck was uh, intended to be so much more fun. Um, there's that big one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think. Oh, if I attack, I don't really want to attack at all. Um, we're gonna cast the Wyvern. This feels like such a bad choice. Okay, so dismiss. At least it stopped their opponent's 
barrage. Um, I am. I'm just going to forbid it with buyback. Because why not? Let's see what happens. Four spike. Do you wish to pay for four spike? Damn right I do. And this is where I concede. <laughs> There's just no way. Um, okay, so... Deals one damage to target creature or player? That could at least be good. Uh, no rod. Not really. Can I target instant or sorcery spell? I mean, as much as I want a disrupt, I don't think here we can use it. Um, three agreed to don't untapped. Hello, mixed stones. Graveyard, graveyard. No. Uh, okay, so mixed stones are a big thing because it will lock out that deck. Um, I think if we take out the two mana leaks, um, mana leaks are really great early, but they're just not great. Um, <laughs> didn't realize we had quicksands in here. Uh, let's try that. Yes, we want to play first. Absolutely. Uh, two quicksands. Two islands, impulse whispers, keep. Definitely keep. You know, it's actually probably a bad idea. We probably should have mulligans. Because by the time we play an Ophidian, our opponent's going to be able to cancel. Can't counter it. Uh, Alright, whatever. Island. Go ahead and yield. So here. Island, hope our opponent doesn't have a force, a force a spike, and we'll allure. Cool. It's great because that actually will let us steal our opponent's stalking stones, stones once they're activated, so... Sounds pretty good to me. So weird to ask you if you want to use its ability. Gee, you think? Um, okay, so our opponent has counter spell mana open. We are going to a fit in here. Just to drag out the counter spell. Oh, it's a force spike. Really? Sure. Nope. Can't pay it. Bye bye, Ophidian. Feels bad. Uh, speaking of force spike, there's a new two mana force spike coming in Amon Kept. Which has cycling for blue. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not mind blowing, but it's not terrible. Obviously, I'm sure it'll see play in some sort of jank. Probably jank I make. Let's be honest. Uh, why would you keep asking me? Of course, I want to use it. Here we're going to impulse. Ooh, okay. Uh, island, sapphire, sapphire. Okay, well, we'll take a sapphire medallion then. Uh, that's fine. And we'll just put them on the bottom in any order because we don't care. Uh, yes. I always say yes, damn it. Uh, Alright, so we've got another land. Let's cast a medallion. Cool, let's cast another medallion. Come on, you gotta counter the second one. Oh wow, okay, sure. What's our opponent got? One, two, three, four. Never rolls disc. Right, okay. That's fine. 
Now let's have a look at this trigger and say always yes to the triggered ability. And then yes. So please stop asking me. Uh, Alright, so. Whispers are still going to cost the full buyback, isn't it? Because buyback is an extra cost. Not part of the... You're going to use that? Sure. Well, if you're going to use that, I feel like I should, but instead I'm going to Whispers with buyback. Yeah, why not? Oh, it does reduce the buyback cost. Excellent. Come on. Mana leak. So I'll impulse instead. And we'll take ooh, a make stone. And hopefully we'll draw into a counter spell. Seriously gotta be the most boring match that you've ever seen. Any order. Alright, cool. So, I think here... I mean, I would love to have tried to play the, uh, the Silver Wyvern, but I don't have that extra mana for a Force Spike or anything like that. So, that'll have to do. And then we'll just yield. Shocking move, we'll yield again. Um, I think here we're just going to yield. That's what's her opponent got. I'm not going to like. Uh, bye bye. You can whisper this bye back as much as you want. Yield. Wow. More islands. I think until our opponent gets another Nevin Rolls disc, I don't really need to worry. Uh, which is why our opponent's just going to keep buybacking Whispers. What is that? Oh, it's a Rainbow of Freet. Oh, I love Rainbow of Freet. Uh, you can have it. That's fine. I feel like... Don't wait for it to try and attack. Hmm. Huh, that's fine. Sapphire Medallion. Which means... One, two. We're gonna suck out a Kenna spell here. See if we can bounce the Afraid. Can you use your Afraid ability? Sure. So it's now phased. We take it. That's a really bad way to show that it's phased. Um. I think here. I don't know what our opponent is saying. Oops, oh well, yellow about, but we definitely missed that one. So 50. Like 10 minutes ago. So, probably when they were kicking our butt. I don't know what that is, but something from upstairs. Another Man of War! Bouncy, bouncy, free. Oh, right, because you paid the two to bounce your free. I see. Sure. And then we're just gonna straight up start to yield. 
Uh, I do have to answer this. Uh, okay, a freed stocking stones. It's fine, that's fine. We don't really care that much. Uh, I'm sure our opponent will. More land. That's exactly what we don't care about. Men of War again. The question here is do we bounce the afraid or do we bounce the stones? Or we just let the cannons bug off because we don't care. I almost feel like I've run inside enough for a cannon spell, so. Hey, you gonna attack with your Afrid, are you? What are you doing? Ah, uh, undo. Tap and sacrifice quicksand, target attacking creature. Well, it is an attacking creature, right? Uh, target attacking creature. Oh, without flying. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, cool. I didn't see that. That's, oh, of course, because it's quicksand. You dickhead. Ah, more land. I don't want to see land. I want to see options. Um, options, a thing that I do not have. Especially don't want to play this without any counter spell back up. Uh, we're just going to yield. Yes, I got that, thank you. So what was the point of phasing out the flyer? Was it to see if our opponent could untap it? I am not. Alright. Uh, let's try and pull another counter spell. See what happens. Oh, yep, that's a counter spell. Yield. I've got eight minutes versus fourteen minutes. Hello, yield. I'm not attacking. I hate it when Moto does that. Uh, okay, so our opponent whispered. Didn't bother to buy back. I wouldn't either. Evan Riles disc. Let me guess. Disc. Phase of free. Use disc. Sounds like fun. Um. I'm just gonna wait for our opponent to disc. Really. Doesn't seem like I got much of a choice. Opponent was obviously going to do something and then decided against it, just in case. Now uh, I have 37 to 34. So, technically speaking, at the moment, I'm still winning on cards left in my deck. So, maybe I can just run my opponent out of cards. Ugh. Which just sounds pretty lame. What? When in Lamesville. This is it. Devin Rolls disc. Uh, I don't care what order they go in. Anyway, it's fine. Yep. Any 
any time now. Well, you might as well hit me for free, man. You got my dead bang. Look at all that untapped mana. Twelve islands. How am I supposed to get our own counter spells now? <laughs> Besides, you know, I'm not. Um, I'm gonna try though. <sighs> yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, that's great. Our opponent's just going to be able to just... Yeah. Unless we can find a meek stone. Um, we're not going to get around that at all. A steel golem? Really? What in the world? Uh, okay. Another legacy lure. Cool. Uh, mana wall. Targeting their freight. Forcing their opponent to phase it. It's gonna kill us. Um, oh, right. Turn off all of you. <laughs> Could probably be a good idea. Uh, that's not flying, right? So, we can't kill it. Yay! Our opponent has stalking stones, so that's a thing. Always trigger, always gets to trigger. Hey, an impulse! Let's use our impulse. Huh. I'd probably let it through too. Uh, any order on the bottom, thanks. Duh, I guess we'll just defeat in here. Because really, we've got no choice. I mean, we're, we're dead this turn anyway. Or at least the turn after. Our opponent should just cancel this out, right? Yep, there it goes. Oh, let's just concede. It's just really not a fun matchup, blue and blue. I was expecting that we maybe get some sort of really fun deck, but instead, we got one of the lamest decks. Really not good for streaming. Just terrible. I hope we don't get matched up against any more blue decks. I really don't. I just don't wanna. I would have much rather to have like the Suicide Black deck or something like that. Um, because the Suicide Black deck is one of my all-time favorite decks ever. I actually have uh, a budget version of the Suicide Black. I know how sad that sounds because the original Suicide Black was a budget deck anyway, except it was quite expensive here in Australia. Um, it wasn't like it is now. We didn't have the internet as such. Trading was a lot harder, so. Right. <sighs> breathe it in, breathe it in. 
that's a terrible hand. I mean, we could keep that because we know we're going to be able to draw islands, uh, or at least we technically should, but starting out without an island in hand is a really bad idea. Uh, we've got two there, so we're going to keep that. We're going to put this island on top just in case. City of Brass. I don't know what deck this is going to be then. I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, it could be the, the Nightmare deck. What was it called? Oh, there's a gemstone mine. Okay. Well, I can't, I can't do anything about that, so yeah, sure. Wait. The folk traders. Oh, this is the reanimator deck. Yeah. Alright, that's cool. I'm fine with that. Especially when Man of War big stuff uh, is always hilarious. Our opponent's going to start pecking us for one mode for a little while. It's actually like a really solid fun deck to play. Um, if you have a look down in my other videos, uh, I actually got to play this deck right now. It was great. I just loved it so much. Uh, I feel like here, I don't want to do anything. I just want to leave counter magic open. Um, because as soon as I play something, my opponent's going to be able to get around it with one of their uh, reanimates. There's a fair number of reanimates in there as well. I'll take your other one damage again. Keep attacking me. It's fine. City of Brass. Into Animate Dead. And we're just going to outright counter spell that Animate Dead. I mean, technically speaking, we could have waited, um, but we didn't want to. It's not going to get haste or anything, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, yeah, if I remember rightly, uh, generally a bit of a when animate dead enters the battlefield. If it's on the battlefield, it loses enchant creature card, the graveyard and gains enchant creature card. Creature put onto the battlefield with anime dead. Return creature card to the battlefield under your control. When anime dead leaves the battlefield, that creature controller sacrifices it. Okay, cool. So we can only bounce the creature anyway, so. Ah, drat, that's not good. Um, Alright, I think we'll just have to mana war it. You betcha. Me and my history of bad hands. Bad hands. Keeping the dream alive. Keeping the dream alive. Anytime our opponent wants to let us do it. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime would be really nice. No. There we go. Okay, great. Uh, we're just going to hit the yield. Undiscovered Paradise. I miss these. So many broken lands. Gemstone mines were fantastic. I mean, we currently technically have one in, in the form of, you know, the ether. Um, ether hubs. So, Hidden Horror Discarding Shivan Dragon. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, we want to go Sapphire Medallion, one, two. 
and then we want to go in for an Ophidian, one, two. Because we don't mind taking in just like a tiny little bit of damage, which is what's going to happen, but, uh, yeah. A gemstone mine only has one more counter on it. So we need to get our opponent spending that mana as soon as possible to get rid of that mine. just wish this had something like capsize, some sort of like buyback annoyance. Do damage to a player, right? Oh, whenever it's attacked and not blocked. You may draw a card. If you do, it assigns no combat damage. Right, so what we really need to do is to Stop the Merfolk Traders. Get rid of the Merfolk Traders. And then we can Ophidian to the face and start drawing cards. Or we can not worry about it. Just play a top of Trade Wind Rider or the Silver Wyvern. Three, four, five. Yeah, we can actually do that. feel like we should have tapped the quicksand just in case. But again, don't care. Yeah, we don't need to attack. Our opponent will just block it anyway. Again. Blue deck, the most boring deck in the world. Uh, I think that this was also one of the world's decks. I seem to remember that there was a deck with Ophidians and Mana Wars. I might be wrong. I might have been... I know that the Afrit deck was a world's deck. Um, I know that uh, Suicide, Black, White Weenie, uh, Prost Bloom... I don't think ever made it to a world's deck status. But those old world's decks, um, hilariously enough, back in the day we, we bought them just to play against each other um, and then got rid of them because yeah, not legal in a tournament, what do we want it for? And now that I play so much commander I'm like, ah, oh, I wish I had scroll rack. Uh, but scroll racks are actually considerably hard to pick up these days, which sounds really stupid really stupid, um, but unfortunately it is correct. Here we go, Firestorm. I totally, totally burked up on that one. Sure. I may have forgotten about Firestorm. Mm -hmm. uh, any order. That's right, because our opponent's only got one card in here now anyway. Uh, we're just going to yield and take that five damage that our opponent's going to swing with. I feel like I'm playing the worst possible deck uh, that you could ever play. Two, Ophidian. Uh, I'm going to spend the rest on the Trade, trade Wind Rider. Yield. You're gonna take before, and I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it. I'm on five life. This is this is dangerous for me. What's our opponent doing? Drain life or something? Before <laughs> it was actually. Ah, oh, Sliver Queen. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, sure, you can have your 7-7 seven, seven that creates slivers. Not scared of that at all. Um, okay, so if I go 1, 2, Ophidian. You know, our opponent's going to be able to make, what, 2, 1, 1s. I'm going to start trying to flood the board. Um... 
I'm going to tap all three, bounce the hidden horror, but then I take seven. I think I have to. I have to get rid of the Sliver Queen. We'll see how this shakes out. I think we're already in dangerous territory that we're probably going to lose. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so we're going to use Trade Wind Rider here. What? No! Cancel! Cyan Blocker Step, come on. Alright, so Trade Wind Rider to block the 4 4. Uh, we're going to use Ophidian to block the 1 2. The other Ophidian. Should really block the 4 4 and attempt to kill it. So that's how we're going to do our blockers. Then we're going to trigger Quicksand on the Hidden Horror. And then we're going to. Bounce the Sliver Queen, tapping both of our Ophidians. So, our opponent's going to make Slivers, which is fine. the hidden horror. Mana leak, really? Mana leak. Uh, okay, that's fine. We're all good now, we're fine. I think we can take control of the game from here. Maybe. As soon as our opponent reanimates something though, we're gonna have problems. Black, red, white, they're going to do it again. Cool. That's exactly what I want to see. Mana Link cost me one. And our opponent now has no mana left. Yeah, you can have that. That's fine. See you, Browse? Sure. So our opponent's on seven. We're going to Mana Link. Feels good. Felt bad last time. Feels good. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, let's see. Hmm, Frixian Furnace. Frixian Furnace. Frixian Furnace. Uh, I don't think Meek Stones, to be honest. Um, artifacts don't care. Coming to the red spells or abilities from red sources. We could just use those to ping our opponent as well. Um, I feel like we're going to get rid of the Wyvern, um, probably one Whispers, I think, we're probably going to get rid of all the Legacies Allure, I really don't like Legacies Allure at all, um, I know that they were a big thing back in the day, but I mean, type of creature with power less than or equal to the number of treasure counters. So it's going to sit there for ages doing nothing. Um, and we're back to 60 cards. So let's beat our opponent with some Sukata Firewalkers. <laughs> I love Firewalkers. The great thing as well that they can't be targeted um, by red spells or abilities. So that means that our opponent's um, flamey, furnacey, whatever the hell that card was called, um, can't actually kill them. What just happened to my chat? Still there, allegedly. Let's try updating this on the fly.
right. Well, on the first thing it's working at least. Just didn't come up on my feed. Um, so my opponent's probably trying to think of the best things to counteract a counter spell deck. Which there are some very, very, very nasty things uh, in the sideboard of that deck. So we will see what happens. I just have to remember to try and keep counter spells up. Um, because I think one of the sideboard options for that deck was something that made me only play make players spell play spells during their own turn from memory. Uh, do we want to keep it? We want to keep it. Three gorgeous islands. I love those islands in that picture. Just pretty. Merfolk, yep. Should be should have been called like Merfolk Rooter or something like that, really. Whatever. Uh, we are just going to play another island here. Uh, because then that leaves us with Mana Leak and Kennispell open. Which for us definitely makes a very, very, very solid thing to keep up against a uh, random meta deck. Come to it, attack me, no one cares. I would gladly take your one point of damage. Bad beat break. Here comes Gemstone Mine. What's next? Shivan Dragon's already in there. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, great. Uh, island. And then yield. We are not going to uh, put ourselves out there. Not at all. Our opponent's only got three lands, so that's not bad news for us, really. Four lands. Now we're just waiting until their second main. That's fine as well. Alright. So we've got two counter spells now. We got a Sukatar. I feel like we need one more land before we start uh, using any of that kind of stuff. We're just gonna keep taking the the one point of bad beads here. Second main, our opponent's probably thinking of whether they want to reanimate something or not. And just in case you're wondering, yes, it is quite chilly here in Melbourne at the moment. It's pretty fantastic, to be honest. Good chilliness. Alright, so our opponent's going to hidden horror. We, on the other hand, are going to mana leak it. Which our opponent probably already knew that we were going to do something. Um, we're going to leave up hard counters in our hand. We don't want to use the hard counters yet. Um, the thing with Mana Leak, even against a reanimated deck, is you want to use it at the most opportune time um, and use your hard counters later, not the other way around. Um, that's interesting. Our opponent's going to Dark Ritual. Uh, I'm going to let that happen because I want to see what our opponent's thinking here. think they're just going to pay for it, uh, then I'm going to have a counter it. Wow. Cool. Uh, so here, we're going to play the Sigatar Firewalker. Pretty sure I'm saying that correctly anyway. Um, but we're going to leave Impulse up so that we can dig, um, and obviously we're going to leave two blow up for the counter spell. Our opponent now has five mana though, so perhaps they were goading us just so that they could try and get two reanimates off this turn. 
or like a reanimate and an animate dead or something like that, which is quite possible. Again, it's going to happen at some point. And if it's now, so be it. Black, a blue, animate dead. Uh, can spell. Now the question is, does our opponent have the mana leak? No. Do they have another animate? Here comes animate dead. Necromancy. Just as terrifying. Something special that. Uh, you had know, any time you can land in the sorcery, sacrifice, it doesn't matter. Um. No, that's pretty much it. Just another reanimation spell. Sure. Shivan Dragon? I uh, imagine? Yes. Okay. You can have that there, Shivan Dragon. That's fine. Uh, Island. Hmm. Another Firewalker, maybe? See, the problem is that our opponent now has a massive pumper, uh, and it's going to beat us. Silly! So let's chuck two blue into the mix, and we're going to impulse now instead of at the end of our turn, uh, our opponent's turn. Freaks in Furnace, bit late for that, to be honest. Check for us, Freaks in Exile, target card from a graveyard and draw a card. Uh, quicksand. I don't really need a Quicksand, to be honest. Another Ophidian. We could play a whole bunch of Ophidians. Oh, I think we might as well just take the furnace. Any order, that's fine. Uh, and I think, because we know that the Shivan Dragon's going to run over us anyway. So we're going to start our Firewalker fun. Alright, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So our opponent can technically here nail us for nine points of damage, uh, which is a fair chunk. Ten, really. I mean, if they attack with the traders, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if that happens. Um, be on fourteen, thirteen. Yeah, this is not going to be good for us. <laughs> Again, we'll see what happens though. So, so our opponent is going to attack with both, that's fine. I am, however, just going to ping my opponent. Now that's interesting, I hmm. could have kept the quicksand, I didn't realise it's a creature or player. Two, four, five. I actually could have killed the Shivan Dragon. <laughs> this turn. Um, two, four, I won't be able to now. Unless I draw another quicksand. Well, that's interesting. Maybe that'll happen. We'll see. You're going to pop that at me for one. You're going to hit me for one. Um, damn, I don't have the mana. Sure. So our opponent's basically trying to make sure that the Shivan Dragon can kill me next turn. Um, which technically should be the case. Typing terribly. Um, so, our opponent's going to animate Dead on the Verdant Force. Um, yeah. 
I've got nothing for that. So I'm gonna just exile the card. We're just gonna yield out of that. Alright. Oh. This is, um, unprecedented. So we can use the Ophidian to block the third force. Gosh. This is going to make things really interesting. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no, we can do this. Maybe. If I draw something to bounce the burn force back to our opponent's hand, maybe. Okay. So, uh, I'm just going to get straight to blocker. I'm going to block the Merfolk Trader. And then we're going to go to Abilities. We're going to let the pump go through. Because I don't particularly care about the pump. This is just a 7-5, so... Sacrifice quicksand. Ah, oh, it's flying. Ha ah. forgot about that. Alright, we'll just have to concede. <laughs> um, okay, so Yeah, that's interesting. Should we target permanent if it's red? I mean, we could chuck some Hydro Blasts in here. Um, that sounds like a plan. Then I think... I don't want to take out too many of these, though. To be honest. Um, Firewalkers didn't help, so they can come back out. Uh, and we've got 60 cards, so we'll just submit. And we go from there. We'll try it again. I wonder how the Suicide Black goes up against the Reanimator deck. I mean, you'd think that Reanimator is just too big, too strong, too fast for a lot of decks to get around. I don't remember Black having much in the way of. Destroy target creature stuff. I guess it depends on which version it is, because there was a version that ran um, Contagions. That was interesting. Um, there's one that ran Spinning Darkness, uh, which is a really interesting card. It's like, remove the top two black cards in your discard pile from the game instead of paying its mana cost. I think its mana cost was something like uh, one black and four, or two black and three, and it was deal four damage to target creature or player. Might have been just target creature. Uh, I don't think it was like burn light, uh, but it was definitely in that that weird era. Such a weird era. So many great cards, though. Uh, I think Contagion might have been... Uh, from Alliances, maybe? I'd look it up, but eh, it had a cat on it. That was a really cute card. Uh, do we want to play first? Absolutely. Do we want to keep that? Phyrexian and Fergus. Yeah, we want to keep that. Alright, so first turn. Island. Phyrexian Furnace, go. Like more counter spells, to be honest, but beggars slash user. Uh, island. 
Yield go. Hide counter spell. Yield. I'm gonna give our opponent no more targets. Uh, I don't want to cast that now. Yield until the end of turn. It's pretty hilarious. It'd be like our opponent hard casting stuff. Or we just draw go the entire time. And impulse. Uh, we will take uh, a land, actually. Watch as we draw a land. No, there is capsizing here though. Target permanent to its owner's hand. Whip harg. Uh, we're gonna yield. Because we don't need to really do anything against this deck now. Uh, we're getting enough mana. Would like them all. Um, so that's pretty cool. Is it buyback three? Cost six to balance a single thing. Yeah, that's fine. Sapphire medallion. One, two. Yield. Now, there I probably shouldn't have played the Sapphire Medallion, I probably should have kept up, kept up the extra mana um, for a second counter spell. Probably would have been ideal, but we got mana wars and stuff anyway, so if we counter something and our opponent mana leaks it, which they probably will. Uh, Merfolk Traders, do we care about a Merfolk Traders? No, not at all. Go ahead and pitch cards, that's fine. Should be interesting to see what our opponent pitches. Because no matter what it is, if they try and target it, we're just going to friction furnace it away. Oh, gemstone mine, that was, um... My opponent apparently having the worst hand ever. Uh, okay, so we didn't draw any extra lands. That makes me a bit nervous. So we'll just pay two in Ophidian and then yield. Get two more lands and then we can whispers with buyback at the end of turn. Which would be real nice. Opponent doesn't attack, that's fine. Anything we want to do at the end of turn? No. Good thing is that capsize only costs us five now, but I think at this point. Oh, I mean, we could. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our opponent will be able to start actually casting cards soon. Um, Hard casting creatures. I think here I might get rid of the Ophidian, uh, the traders, so that I can get Ophidian through and draw a card. I know that sounds like a really bad idea, and it probably is, but see if our opponent wants to uh, force spike this. I don't hope they do. I don't think I've ever had this many cards in hand for a very long time. There's the mana leak. We're gonna let that go. Boop, boop, boop. We do, we do, we do, we do. Nope, we're not gonna pay that. Especially because we just don't 
just don't care. Huh, well that's something we didn't see coming. Yeah, we'll take your one point of damage, that's fine. It just feels like that that's the way against Drogo, isn't it? The opponent's just getting into the incremental one point. Another traitors. Oh, I definitely want to counter that, but at the same time, I don't want to let my opponent be open to do whatever they want. Sure, you can have your Merfolk traders. Living death. Wow, okay. Um, it was actually kind of unexpected. Okay, so... Oh. Now I have the six manners, so... I think we'll just yield. See what our opponent does. Might start removing stuff in their discard pass in though. I should have been doing the whole time, to be honest. Two more folks coming through. I'll take your dirty two damage and I'll like it. Now I can start doing two things here. I can capsize with buyback, bounce one of the more folks, or I can whispers with buyback, start trying to dig for more land. Uh, especially if I can get some quicksands to get rid of these merfolks rather than giving my opponent the advantage of being able to replay them. Uh, it's probably going to be a massively good idea. Brain work with mouth bat. Alright, Mr. Opponent, what are you going to do? And huh? Um, then I'm gonna whispers. Hey, yeah, I am. Oh, really? Mana leak more whispers? Sure. I think you're forgetting to use the furnace. Uh, but there is the quicksand that we were wondering about. Um, now I could. Trade wind here for three, one, two, three, leaving the two open, but I think I'm probably better off just leaving it. That art on Frixian furnace is just so good. So good. I'll kill you, my folks. <laughs> no, 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 turn off all of you. <laughs> that could have been real bad. Uh, necromancy, huh? Hmm. What are you gonna necromancy though? A merfolk? Would our opponent do that? Uh. I'm just going to counter spell it. Straight up. Because then we can still forbid with buyback. Uh, or mana leak. Preferably not. But yeah. Uh, exile the bottom card of your discard file. Thank you. More trade wind wisers. Hmm. Two, three, one, we'll leave with two open. I think we'll leave it for now. Especially when I can start capsizing with buyback on stuff, uh, which sounds like a real good plan. But 
it again, this is like the most boring game I've ever played. Should we do it? Uh, I guess the first thing we're gonna do is actually use the furnace. I'm gonna capsize with a buyback on the merfolk. Just because we can, really. Maybe our opponent has a chem spell for it. Maybe. Look at that impulse. So let's see what our opponent uh, decides to discard this time. Because it should be hilarious. My folk? No. Blue. Black. Perfect. Sure. What are we gonna loot away? Really? Okay, sure. Oh, you know what? I forgot to, uh, I forgot the impulse. My system's getting real slow. Man, I'm one of the Merfolk traders. See how that goes. And um, then we're just gonna yield. <laughs> And keep aiding our opponent's graveyard. Uh, we've got Impulse will only cost us one. Uh, Forbid will only cost us two. Mana Leak only one. So we're in a pretty good place. Merfolk traders, maybe I should counter it. Nah. I don't care. Please keep digging through your deck. I don't remember if you've got any kind of answer. I think the opponent has some sort of answer in the deck. I have to really get rid of them. You get rid of those Merfolk traders soon. City Brass. Sure. What are you casting? Okay. Don't know what it is. Just in case. I don't remember if I hit that or not. Maybe not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our opponent definitely has enough for. Well, there's the Verdant Force in the discard pile. Are they maybe trying to make me pull something here? Yes, they are. Okay, um, so we're just gonna pay one and mana leak the Shivan Dragon. Gonna want four spike it. Pyroblast. What with three cards in your hand? 
Uh, I guess you're going to be able to kill off my man of war. Or. I'm just going to forbid that. It's got the trade wind riders. I don't need either of them. There we go. And it doesn't have any mana stacked or anything like that, so no flood for you. Uh, we are going to use that on our opponent, and then we're going to yield them through. Quicksand, cool. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Do we want to attack with the mana wall? I think we do. Our opponent's not going to win this anytime soon anyway, but looks it. Our opponent's on 15 life, they've got 4 cards in hand, there is a chance that they can do a couple of different reanimations, but uh, I highly, highly doubt that they'll, they'll get that far. Attack us for one, sure. Here we go. Some sort of fun is about to happen. Probably another merfolk. <laughs> ah, necromancy. Sure. Um, I think here. Uh, one, two. Buyback's going to be two. We don't want to really do that. So we'll impulse. We want to take hydroblast. Uh, put them on the bottom in any order. It's fine. Now, what are you targeting exactly? Shiv and Dragon, huh? Uh, you know what? You can have that Shiv and Dragon, absolutely. Here we go. City Brass. Yeah, you can have that. Spawn. Animate Dead on the Verdant Force. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna destroy the Shivan Dragon, Dragon for blue. And then I'm probably just going to sacrifice this and eat the Verdant Force, I think. Seems like a good plan. Now we just get to continually capsize stuff and beat our opponent for two uh, when they're running out of time anyway. Another merfolk? Sure, oh, go for it. What's our opponent going for this time? <sighs> Shivan Dragon! Uh, I think I'm just going to start up Can I spell it? Whispers. Um, yeah, you know what? I am going to attack. Uh, 
in with my mana wall and see what happens. We'll take a one point of damage, that's fine. Another medallion. Tridian for one. Yield. Alright, great. Another medallion. And then we're just gonna yield. Yeah, you can animate it on that, that's fine. So it's a buyback. Bye bye, Fed and Force. Unless their opponent has Pyroblast. Wow, okay. Um, forbid it, maybe? We don't have the extra blue. Oh. Yeah, right, that's. um. Not what we were expecting. 324, 110. Maybe our opponent will time out. Undo the last one. Undo! Alright, great. Never been so nervous before, because our opponent's just going to keep getting 1-1s uh, one -ones now. So we're in a spot of bother. Uh, we will block the 7-7. Seven -seven. Uh, we will sacrifice a quicksand to kill off a merfolk. Uh, then we will cast that with buyback. And then, yep. Oh, that's not good. It's fine. We'll make it. Uh, whispers with buyback. Not looking good. <laughs> Whispers with buyback. <laughs> really not looking good. Uh, yield. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My opponent can almost kill us. Well, that's going to be fun. Alright, so we're going to Impulse. Uh, we're going to take Frixian Furnace. Then we're going to Furnace. We're going to sacrifice it to get rid of... 
Shivan Dragon, I guess. Impulse. We <laughs> can find us an opinion. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure here that we're dead. We tried our best. We tried our best. We were so close. So close. And we'll just concede out. Oh, that is one of the most boring decks. Alright, I think we might leave it there. Um, and I hope everyone had a good time. Uh, hopefully next time we do this, I won't get the rather snore-festy blue counter draw go deck. Um, draw go is a legitimate deck. Uh, it's not really my favorite. It's not burn. It's not. There's no tricks to it. It's just draw go, draw go, draw go. So that has been that, and that has been quite toxic. <laughs> uh, other things. So just to close out on. April the 29th, a Good Games in Melbourne CBD here in Victoria, Australia, not Victoria, Canada. Uh, keep your eye out. Come watch us play Commander, Commander the Gathering, uh, either in store, which is completely free, or on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Diyoshi. Diyoshi is going to be off at a charity event, um, but I will be maintaining the stream uh, on the day uh, while he's over in Sydney doing that. We actually have Soto, uh, the BBG himself is coming on the stream, so that's pretty cool. Uh, May the 6th is my birthday stream, uh, so tune in for that. That'll be actually be here on uh, twitch.tv forward slash Cheshire Plays Games, and that will be an Amon Ket six-player draft. Uh, so we're going to be drafting Amon Ket, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and there might actually be some prizes, so you definitely want to come and watch the stream for that. Um, because live, there will be many more prizes than there would be not live. Uh, so, come along, hang out. We're probably going to be drinking and drafting and having fun. It's going to be three rounds. It's going to go for probably a good four-ish hours, uh, but it is going to be a lot of fun, and I've got a lot of cool people coming, such as Primacat, um, the Extra Life streamer. Uh, we have uh, Mitch returning, who you might remember from the first episode of Command of the Gathering. Uh, we have Meglin, who's going to be back. Uh, you might remember her from two episodes ago in Command of the Gathering. She also did that amazing uh, Chandra custom pop vinyl painting. Uh, so that will definitely be awesome to have her back on the show. And uh, two of her friends are coming along as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And do come, because I love you guys, and you girls, and you everyones, and you should all come and hang out. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Other than that, I think it's pretty much time for me to stop blathering into the microphone and run away. So I hope you've had fun, and I will see you next time. Keep cracking packs.